Hey guys, so in this video I get the rear cabinets and uh, the rear, the mid shelf and the TV all done and installed. It came out really nice, so check out the end, you'll, you'll see it all. Uh, but I do have to apologize because I do repeat myself a lot in the clips. Uh, you can speed it up one and a half speed and I won't feel bad, that's usually what I do. But I took all these different clips o over different days over the course of like three weeks just because I was always waiting for something to cure, something to dry, something to happen. Uh, so it took me a very long time and sometimes I, I think I just kind of forgot where I left off. So I do repeat myself, I apologize. But check out the, the video, let me know what you think. Uh, watch it all the way to the end and you'll get to see uh, the TV and everything mounted. But uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you like it. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me okay. I've got a face mask on because I'm uh, painting this with the doors closed. Uh, but I'm working on some cool stuff. That's my wall that's going to hold the TV and just finish off the cabinet that's going to be inside of the camper. Um, I think I showed you that before. And on top of it are these nice screens that I found. And I'm going to make those, build those into these doors. So I built these frames and I'm painting this the uh, Tiffany blue to match the other stuff. And uh, it's going pretty nicely. I, the frames are good, uh, and I'm just doing a first layer on the back side, then I'll flip them around and do a layer on the front. But yeah, it's, uh, I think it'll look pretty neat having the, the metal screen combined with the color. Uh, but you'll see more here shortly. Quick little update here, uh, making some pretty good progress in here. So I have the top up here, and right there, all fiberglass. You can kind of see the, the patch right there. And then on the shelf that's right here, the top or top and bottom on both sides. So that is going to be secure. So that will, I'll let that cure maybe 24 hours, maybe 48. And then I'll be able to do a little bit more once it's all secure. And then over here, I have these drying. And again, it'll probably be another 24 hours. I'll let the paint fully cure so I can uh, uh, put these inside of it. So just more waiting. Uh, work for a couple hours and wait for two days. <laughs> That's just the way all this crap is going. A little more progress today. Uh, so I just glued, cut and glued this little frame that's gonna cover up the edge of the foam, otherwise it's gonna look like this and you don't really want that. So that's gonna have a nice decorative edge. It's the same type of wood as this. Um, yeah, so I have those in place, those are drying. Once that's done, I have the wood right there and that's cut to fit right up here against this foam and then I'll just drill a big hole in here and then reach in and trace the outline. So that way I can uh, make the wood fit perfectly. And then in a previous clip, I couldn't get the cabinet out. So what I just did is traced the uh, the power strip and cut that. So the, the bar is there just so the tray doesn't slide all the way through in the kitchen. The tray is over there. Um, so it's really not important for structural things or anything. It's just there to keep the tray from sliding through. So I just did that so I can remove both cabinets and uh, still move forward with the same plan and idea of being able to move wood in here as well. So once this dries, I will come back and uh, do some more. I just had to quickly uh, throw this clip in here, but I just made my first pot of coffee off of the, the camper and the AC system. That's the coffee maker beeping saying it's done. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I have the, the DC to uh, DC right under here. That is the DC to AC, and I have them both up and running, and it worked. I'm pretty happy about that. It was uh, putting out a 1,000 watts, and I had to have the DC to DC running. Otherwise, my voltage was just dropping quickly. But even... With this running, uh, the, the DC to AC, even with that running and making coffee, um, as long as I had the DC to DC converter on, I was still adding power to the battery. So the DC to DC is a um, 
uh, volt. I think it was a 2000 watt. I'm pretty sure it's 2000 watts. But um, so that just shows that it's working. I'm pretty excited. It's afternoon, so it's not coffee time. It's PBR time. But I still wanted to test it and see if it was working. And it is. So that's very, very cool. Uh, so now I'm just waiting for, uh, still waiting for resin to dry and glue to dry. Hopefully tonight, when it, when the stuff is dry or cured, I'll be able to work on the cabinet some more. So sorry for the crappy video. Just wanted to throw this in here because I was just testing it and it, it worked. Pretty excited about that. Hey guys. So for this segment here, I'm going to hopefully correctly uh, install the resin countertop. And so the plan is to pour, just make a big batch of, of resin and pour it in here. I do have a slight lip on this piece right here. So it's just probably like an eighth of an inch just to catch and hold resin. And then I'm also going to take some of the resin and paint this piece, just paint it on with a brush, this piece here. And all day today I've been in a holding pattern because uh, I was waiting for stuff to dry. Uh, in my earlier segment, um, actually just before I think I was excited about, right around the time I was excited about the AC system, uh, I was also working on the frame on the inside of the, uh, the camper for those doors. So I'm just waiting for glue to dry, waiting for that glue to dry. And then over here, uh, what I did, I, I because I'm just going to be pouring this stuff on here, I didn't want it to go through the seams, the cracks on both sides, and run down the walls. So I wanted to caulk the edges. I already caulked the bottom, but it could still possibly get around and through. So I, I took... I wanted, the plan was to take silicone along the edge and just seal the edge. But if I did that, the stain wouldn't match. Well, I call it the stain. This is all resin, so it's not really, it's not a stain. But if I just put silicone caulk over the edge, I would imagine the wood wouldn't absorb it, uh, absorb the, the resin, so I would have this light strip down the sides. So... I put resin down the side on uh, both sides. I did this one, this side, a couple days ago. So that's plenty dry, that's fine. This side I did earlier today when I did a couple other little pieces. Um, and so that's still, it was still a little tacky even earlier today, but I was really hoping to get something done today because today was just a beautiful day. Uh, my wife and uh, Caleb had just ha had plans today. Like I had all day today to be in the garage and I barely got anything done. Uh, but anyway, so I, I put the resin down earlier today and then a few hours ago I put a line of silicone caulk. It was 30 minute caulk uh, or silicone and it's been probably four hours or so and the caulk feels fine. The resin is still a little tacky but that's fine. And so now I plan on mixing the resin and pouring it on and uh, cross my fingers that hopefully it all works. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go uh, mix my, my resin and see how it goes. <laughs> this is first time doing this and uh, hopefully it comes out oh, okay. Hopefully it comes out more than okay, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, I've got my mix done. We'll see how many batches I'm going to need for this. We'll see how it goes. And the plan is just to pour it on. Man, this already doesn't really look like enough. So Tap Plastics is the company that helped me out with all this stuff. Uh, definitely not sponsored in any way, but they have been super helpful with, with everything and I highly recommend them. They're out of California. So for me, at least here on the East coast, shipping, unfortunately was far from cheap, but they are really good 
with uh, some pour and product knowledge. So I, I highly recommend them. I am no professional either. I, I will definitely know. I have have a little experience with this, basically just from doing this camper. So I'm no professional at all. And there are probably some of you guys who are watching who have done this before. And I'm probably doing some things wrong, but you're not here right now to help me. So you'll just have to put up with it. <laughs> right now I'm just taking some of the resin from up here that I poured to paint the front. I'm probably going to need quite a bit more. Yeah, definitely. So I did almost half. So I will be right back with, uh, with more. So I definitely don't think that I am experienced enough to give any tips because none of my pieces have come out perfect or really even of high quality, I wouldn't say. Um, but right now what I'm trying to do is just level everything. I'm hoping that it kind of levels on its own. So I'm just doing really light brush strokes to level it all. And uh, I'm assuming I'm probably going to have to do another sanding coat and maybe another layer. I really don't know how to make it an awesome slick layer just like glass. I've seen a lot of videos where people will have these awesome coffee tables and have them look just really slick and nice but I'm not sure this will turn out like that. We will see. It doesn't look like I need another layer right now. So what I'm going to do is just let it sit and cure. Then I'll probably have to, I'm assuming all I'm going to have to sand and maybe I, I have to put another layer down. We'll see. But 
Yeah, so okay, I guess this is down. I'll inspect it and watch it for the next hour or so and then see how it looks. Wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So it's the next morning and uh, it's still curing. I haven't touched it, but I'm sure it's still very tacky. So from five feet away, a few feet away, it, it looks pretty perfect. But if you get up close, there are definitely still blemishes. Uh, not quite as bad as one of the I did on the inside, but you can see like right there. Um, it, I don't know why it does that. It's like a reverse pooling. So instead of pooling in one area, it's separated in that area. So um, we'll see how it looks and feels once it's all cured, which will probably be another, at least the rest of today. And we'll see how it looks and feels. I might sand it and try to put down another layer just so it's nice and smooth. And then also weird, that little droplets on the side. Uh, that's where the uh, silicone is. So that could just be because of the silicone, but it's weird that it actually formed little droplets. And I don't want to touch it and, and wipe it off or anything because I don't want to damage this anymore. And then another thing I finished yesterday was these. This is going to be a support uh, little bracket thing that's going to go right inside there. So this is going to fit right over there just over that blue pipe and uh, it's just going to support that wall there. And then I have another one right here and this one I, I didn't go quite as uh, tall with it because it's going to go right here where all the plumbing and stuff is. I'm going to have both of these removable so I'm just going to probably duct tape them in place just in case I ever have to take them out. Um, I don't want to resin them and fiberglass them in place just in case I have to replace a charger or get to a pipe or something and I figured I'd also show you the differences between the two fabrics I'm using. Uh, the fabric on this one is just typical fiberglass. Uh, this I just bought from Walmart. It's not the cheapest way to go, but it just was convenient and I'd pick up a sheet here and there and it's like six bucks for a small sheet. And this stuff is significantly more expensive, but it's the glass. It's a good quality glass with the matting attached as well. Uh, this stuff is really awesome. I'm going to be using this to uh, wrap the whole uh, camper in fiberglass. Um, so this was what was re recommended to me by a guy at Tap Plastics. With this stuff, uh, you would have to do many, many layers and then sandwich matting in between just to equal this. With this, it's just going to be one layer and it's going to be done and rock solid. So th this one's still a little sticky, but this one for some reason actually dried quicker, even though it was thicker. Um, but it's... Um, well, you can hear a difference right there. So this is definitely harder. And this, I, I can still probably bend a little bit. I could probably even break that. This one, I think, would be harder to break. I'm sure it still would. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. And again, I'm going to be playing the waiting game. So the rest of today, I probably won't be able to do a whole lot. Uh, maybe this evening or this afternoon, I will be able to remove the support uh piece there and over there i just put that in place to hold the top and bottom uh in place so i'll remove those and maybe i'll be able to glue the uh, cut the opening in this and then glue it in place so once i do that then there'll be another waiting game waiting for that to dry before i can uh remove clamps and then resin so a lot of waiting <laughs> Hey guys, it's been a few days since I made that last little clip. Uh, just been busy, haven't had time to get out here. Uh, but here's the countertop. You can kind of see some little dips and issues. I am not positive what I'm going to do with it yet. I, I think it's doable. I, I think it's okay the way it is. I'm just not quite sure yet. I, I think I'll probably leave it and maybe do some more research because I don't want to sand it down and try to put another layer on it and have it look worse than it does right now. But right now it's it's okay, especially once I get stuff in here in the kitchen. I don't think you'll notice it too much. Right there's a section, but yeah. So right now I'm working inside. I just have a, a few minutes this morning 
to do some quick work. Um, my wife has to work today, so I watch Caleb. Today is Monday. And the plan is, I, oh, I got those all cut out, obviously. And the plan is now just to use the, uh, the caulk adhesive there uh, and put it up there. I got all my clamps ready, and that's the plan. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to have to run the, the heater here because look what we woke up to. It's April 1st. I was really hoping that the news reports were wrong and we weren't going to be getting snow, but all week we've had nice weather, 50s. Uh, we even touched on 60 a couple times, and right now it's 22 without the wind chill. So I need the propane heater. Uh, today is going to be cold. Tomorrow is going to be in the, I think, 50s, and it's supposed to be continually 50s from here on out, it looks like, so far. And I know I do a lot of weather reports uh, on these videos, but I'll, pretty much everything that I do is relying on good temperatures or something above freezing, at least. So that's why I am always talking about the weather. I really have to time the use of the salamander uh, appropriately because, I mean, last night I had a, a little free time. I could have come out here and glued this on and then clamped it on, but then I'd have to let the salamander run all night just so that the glue would dry and uh, cure appropriately. And I didn't want to do that, so I put it off till this morning. So I'm gonna glue this on and then hopefully using this heat, this, this time, um, during Caleb's next nap, I'm gonna come out and pour the resin inside the floor of the cabinet. So just try to make efficient use of this kerosene and my time. I even put, uh, I think they call them a horse blanket or something. It's got a big hole in it, but it, it's keeping the, the warmth in here nicely. Uh, so, all right, I'm gonna get at it before I have to uh, do the dad duties inside. Shouldn't take long, I'm just gonna glue this on and I'll probably do another clip later with me doing some resin. Okay, I've got all the clamps on there, holding on that front piece of wood. And I'm gonna turn the salamander back on and let it keep this area pretty warm. And hopefully uh, next nap, so in a few hours, I will have enough room through that opening to pour some uh, resin. It might be kind of ambitious of me, but we'll see how I, how I, how I do. <laughs> Till next time. Well, I was up late last night and I was able to get the, the front veneer all uh, covered in epoxy. And I also have the inside done. I think it's all coming out pretty nice. It's uh, actually already pretty hard. I had the I have the blanket in there to kind of keep the the heat in here, and I have the the heater here, blowing everything, blowing the hot air right inside. And I'm thinking I should be able to get the TV mounted today and the cabinet doors. So uh, hopefully I'll cross my fingers, but I should be able to get this. Uh, all wrapped up today. More to come. Well, guys, thanks for watching yet another long video. Uh, but the interior is done, except for the, the Caleb shelf. So I got to work on that. But you can kind of already tell in this in the picture. Uh, TV is up and working. I have a Roku connected to it. I'm going to get a uh, Apple TV for it instead. But I just wanted to test it and everything, make sure it was all working. So I just connected it all to Roku I had. Uh, but I'm going to try to take you inside and uh, show you what it looks like. All right, I'm really happy to show this off. I think this came out really nice. Uh, obviously the cabinets aren't in, uh, they're sitting out here. I haven't put those in place yet, but when those are in place, I think it'll match really nice. Um, the cabinet doors work really well, nice hinges. I have everything all epoxied. It looks really nice. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it was just a lot of work, a lot of time, more time than work, just because you're just always waiting for something to dry. If you watch my video, you you see I just I, I do one clip a day, pretty much. But right now, I'm really thinking it's it's worth it. it. It looks really good. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, hopefully you guys like the color, you think it's cool, but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.